Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. I'd wager this is the outcome. Take a gander. The door's... Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you do? I don't... they were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? At least... at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. 
I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. <laughs> That'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink at Destination reached, Scylla. Hey boss, I want to talk to you. Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Right, forgot about that. Though, shock and disbelief's a good way to put it. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent.
Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Good news, customer. All germs and contaminants have been neutralized. Mold detected. Mildew 
Detect. Here they come. Identify. The dropped object is an organic in rest mode. Contaminants detected.
That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Fucking right we are. Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth, something about death and all the things we killed. The rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. It's an old cave system we tried to turn into an encampment. You'll see when we get there. Could I have a word with you, Captain? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my... violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew. Friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward.
What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. A crass way to put it, but yes, chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost. <laughs> it's just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. What's wrong, Max? Can't think straight? Now you know how I feel. Uh, wait, forget I said that. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated... Uh, perpetrated? I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here... I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. You look inside yourself all the time, Max. Or with your head buried up your posterior. Say that. I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better, uh, more full of the plan. This year, it, it's, it's all coming out wrong. The plan. It filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to 
ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I got your story right here. I'm Bigger Max. I'm uptight. I love the church, and I'm a stooge for the board. And I don't understand that Felix is a genius. You want me to give up my... my discipline? My... control? I... Oh, but I can't. I can't. I... Without order, there is chaos. You need to love the chaos, Maximilian. Let it envelop you. Take you where it will. Besides, you really have no choice anyway. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made it happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... it's... it's just a farce, right? Just... just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max. Why do you do that? I don't. I mean, that's not how it is at all. I just... I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in our head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... Uh, it can't be right. I, I've only been searching for the answer to the equation. Because it will set us free. Won't it? How? By removing the need to make any decision. To have your life completely controlled. The illusion of certainty. Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? Max, me, I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me I'm not. Ironically, your lack of introspection means you're actually closer to the truth than your friend Max is. Your individual self is what's not real. It is simply a concept. By the architect, Architect? How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... ourselves? I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. Ruined? You seem to be having quite the time. Though I must admit I was a bit concerned when you stripped naked and tried to eat your clothes. I was joking. You passed out fairly early in the process. 
well before I realized what an ignorant fool I've been. Everything is perfect. In a way, perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality, clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. I am content. I finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. I like this one, a self untroubled by deeper thoughts. <laughs> 